Forex, short for foreign exchange, is the global marketplace where currencies are traded. It's the largest and most liquid financial market in the world, operating 24 hours a day, five days a week. Participants in the Forex market range from large financial institutions to individual retail traders, all aiming to profit from the fluctuations in exchange rates. Essentially, Forex trading involves buying one currency while simultaneously selling another, hoping to benefit from the price movements between the two. Unlike traditional stock markets, Forex trading doesn't occur on a centralized exchange. Instead, it's conducted over the counter through a network of banks, financial institutions, and electronic trading platforms. This decentralized structure contributes to the market's high liquidity and allows for continuous trading across different time zones. Whether you're interested in major currency pairs like the EUR USD or more exotic combinations, Forex trading offers a vast and dynamic landscape for potential profit. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. To understand how Forex trading works, let's break it down into a simplified step-by-step -step process. First, you'll need to open a trading account with a reputable Forex broker. This will give you access to a trading platform where you can place your trades. When choosing a broker, consider factors like trading fees, platform features and customer support. Once your account is set up, you can begin analysing currency pairs and identifying potential trading opportunities. Traders use various tools and techniques including technical analysis, fundamental analysis and sentiment analysis to make informed trading decisions. Technical analysis focuses on chart patterns and indicators, while fundamental analysis considers economic factors like interest rates and GDP growth. Sentiment analysis gauges market sentiment and trader psychology. After identifying a potential trade, you'll place an order through your broker's trading platform. Orders specify the currency pair you want to trade, the trade size in lots, the entry and exit points, and any order modifications like stop loss or take profit levels. Once your order is executed, your position will be open and you'll be subject to the fluctuations in the exchange rate. The goal of Forex trading is to buy low and sell high or vice versa, depending on your trading strategy. If your prediction is correct and the exchange rate moves in your favor, you'll make a profit. However, if the market moves against your position, you'll incur a loss. It's crucial to have a well-defined trading plan, manage your risk effectively, and be prepared for both winning and losing trades. Let's consider a real-life example to illustrate how Forex trading works. Suppose you believe that the euro will appreciate against the US dollar. You decide to buy one standard lot of EURUSD at an exchange rate of 1.1000. One standard lot is equivalent to 100,000 units of the base currency, which in this case is EUR. Your initial investment would be $110,000. If your prediction is correct and the EURUSD exchange rate rises to 1.1100, you could close your position and realize a profit. To calculate your profit, you would subtract your initial investment from the selling price, 100,000 EUR times 1.1100 USD per EUR minus $110,000 equals $1,000 profit. Conversely, if your prediction is incorrect and the EUR USD exchange rate falls to 1.0900, you would incur a loss. The loss would be calculated as follows, $110,000 minus 100,000 EUR times 1.0900 USD per EUR equals $1,000 loss. This example highlights the potential for both profits and losses in Forex trading, emphasizing the importance of careful analysis, risk management, and a well-defined trading strategy. Section 4. Weighing the pros and cons of Forex trading. Forex trading offers several potential advantages, making it an attractive investment option for many. Firstly, the Forex market's high liquidity allows for quick and efficient trade execution, often with tight spreads between buying and selling prices. 
Secondly, the market operates 24 hours a day, five days a week, providing flexibility for traders across different time zones. Thirdly, leverage, a tool offered by Forex brokers, allows traders to control larger positions with a smaller amount of capital, potentially amplifying profits. However, it's crucial to acknowledge the inherent risks and drawbacks associated with Forex trading. The high degree of leverage, while potentially magnifying profits, can also amplify losses exceeding a trader's initial investment. Moreover, the Forex market's volatility and unpredictability can lead to substantial losses for unprepared or inexperienced traders. Additionally, the complexity of Forex trading requires a significant time commitment to master the necessary skills and knowledge. Section 5. Time, Effort and Realistic Expectations Becoming proficient in Forex trading is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It demands dedication, continuous learning and a willingness to adapt to ever-changing market conditions. While some individuals may grasp the fundamentals relatively quickly, others may require months or even years of consistent effort to develop a profitable trading strategy. It's essential to approach Forex trading with realistic expectations, understanding that losses are inevitable, especially in the initial stages. A realistic time frame for achieving consistent profitability in Forex trading can vary widely depending on individual factors such as time commitment, learning aptitude and risk tolerance. Some traders may start seeing positive results within a year or two, while others may take longer. For more detailed investment advice and personalised guidance, consult with our friend at Super Ordinary Finances. They can provide tailored recommendations based on your financial goals, risk tolerance and investment horizon. Remember, the information provided in this essay is for educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Before making any investment decisions, conduct thorough research, seek advice from qualified professionals, and carefully consider your own financial circumstances.